Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. I haven't been on YouTube in a while and I feel really bad about that, but I've had some bizarre life circumstances. One, um, and I can try to kind of show you, I did something really foolish the other day. I fell going down my front steps and this is what's the result. It's broken. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job. My kids left like a little potted plant on the stairs and I, I was carrying the baby in my purse and my phone and I was, um, gonna go down the little two-step concrete step thing and I stepped on it and so I twisted my ankle and anyway it's a mess and I've never had something like this happen before and I'm not doing so hot on crutches so yeah I'm just kind of chilling out and reading a lot of books so I mean it could be worse right kind of at least my husband's working from home now so I have help with the kids but anyway so I haven't been on in a while and I wanted to do a review for you and just say hi and the one thing I was thinking I haven't seen any real reviews on was this lipstick formulation. I'm sure there are some. I just haven't been watching that many videos, to be honest. And this is the MAC um, Mineralized Rich Lipstick. And I have two of them. I'm wearing one right now in Grand Dame. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful pink color. It reminds me a little bit of Hot Gossip. Let me see if I have that handy to sort of compare. Oops, that's my problem. I apologize. And basically, these are interesting because they're, it's obviously, it's a MAC lipstick, but for some reason, they're way more expensive. I was going to show you Hot Gossip. Here it is. They are, I want to say, and I, I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me. I want to say they're $22, which is quite a lot for a MAC lipstick. The other ones are $15. However, they have a really cool magnetic closure. This one is in the color Luxe Natural really pretty. It reminds me of Myth with a little bit of Sheen. So the reason I tried these was um, one of them was recommended to me and the other one I just am a sucker for all things nude. And this is a really nice nude. It's extremely wearable and easy to apply. In fact, I have a little rag on my lap. I will show you how it applies. Not that I plan to wear it today, but anyway, this is the Lux Natural. And it's, it's really nice because it's smooth, moisturizing, and it is very pigmented without being dead. I don't like when people say that because I, I don't really feel that's what it does. I love a nice nude lip. Now, with this color, I would definitely top it with something with a pink hue. I, I love this lipstick or this lip gloss. This is S24 Lab Shine from... Uh, makeup Forever. These are really nice. And then that just gives it a little bit of pink. And I think it looks a little more wearable. So that is that color. And I just was wearing this color. But this is the Grand Dame. Very pigmented. Has a sheen. Super nice. I'm going to put next to it Hot Gossip. Hot Gossip is not quite as moisturizing. Although it is a cream sheen. So they're more moisturizing, in my opinion, than cream sheens. Price point is kind of high, but I mean, I really like them. I love the packaging. I love the magnetic closure. They feel very um, luxe and a little bit heavy in the hand. They're really, really nice lipsticks. They're a little wider than a standard lipstick, or maybe it's just sort of cut different. I don't know, but they're really nice. So I really like these. Um, I probably will buy more, to be honest, um, when I get up to the Mac store, which I intend to do on my birthday, which is coming up in a few weeks. And I don't have a Mac counter near me, which is maybe a good thing, to be honest. But you know what is I saw is re-released from Mac right now is this color. Um, let's see if I can find mine. I don't need it because I have plenty, but this is called Nude On Board. Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder, super nice. If you don't have this from last year, this was the, the cute compact from last year. I totally recommend picking it up this year. I'll show you what this looks like. And if, in case you're wondering, this is the first day I've put my face on since this, this big event happened. Although, well, that was the second day. I had weddings this weekend to do, and I did nine clients sitting at a card table with folding chairs because adapt and overcome. 
So anyway, I hope that you're doing great. And if you have any questions about this product or anything, or you just want to say hi, I'm available via um, Facebook, facebook.com, Makeup by Jumana. And Twitter, same name, Persian Diva 77 And I also have Instagram that I use hit or miss. But I do like to look at it, so I'm on there more than I was initially. I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.